I'm Will Greenwald, and this is Loot Drop on Geek.com, your home to find geek toys, nerd swag, and various collectible stuff that's either too expensive or too weird for normal people to keep. This is another month, and that's another Loot Crate, but first, to answer a question I'm sure is on everyone's minds, yes, these are Gunnar Gaming Glasses. No, I don't need them for gaming, they're for exploring the Midnight Channel so I can fight shadows and bring peace to Inaba. This month, the Loot Crate theme is Heroes. Last month was Villains, you saw the video before, and if not, you can click on it below and watch it after this one. Let's see what's in Heroes. Well, you'll see, I spoiled myself a little bit, this is not a blind opening. If anyone cares. Digital Loot Card, this is something that they've been starting to uh, put in. A free code for the original Defense Grid, some uh, DLC stuff for Doctor Who Legacy, and a Mask of the Wormslayer Helm for the upcoming game Gauntlet, which is not actually out yet, but we'll see. I love Gauntlet Legends and spent like 60 bucks worth of quarters just playing it every lunchtime when I was at computer camp. <clears throat> anyway, Sonic the Hedgehog Air Freshener from Epic Sense. I'm not sure what set this is, but this is from the same company that makes the Mega Man and Proto Man air fresheners. Let's see what it smells like. It's called Sonic Breeze. It smells like the first level of Sonic Adventure. And it makes me want to sing the theme to City Escape. Schwings! Lightning bolts you put on your shoes. Uh, you thread your shoelaces through here, and you can basically have Flash slash uh, Namor slash Hermes feet. Yeah, I'm gonna put them on. You don't think so? Yeah, I'm liking these shades. I'm more of a Donatello guy, but Mikey's pretty cool. He's more likely to wear shades. I'm a turtle. A Chimichongo's breakfast cereal parody fridge magnet. Deadpool is overexposed, I admit it. I love Deadpool. I've loved him since Joe Kelly wrote him. But he's been overexposed, and he really doesn't need a catchphrase, and he doesn't need it to be chimichanga. And I say this as someone who's a little bit uh, apologetic for the Deadpool game. It wasn't good, but, you know, the voice acting was great, the writing was, you know, not as good as, say, that first run of the Deadpool comics. But, after the circle chase, of course. But it was funny. There was great meta stuff. It just, the action was very, very bleh. But Chimichanga, he doesn't need a catchphrase. Moving on. Kid Robot Ninja Turtles Ooze Action. Now, I said before I was Donatello guy, this is Donnie. He's a vinyl figure. He glows in the dark. He looks angry. He's coming right for me. He's gonna hit me with a stick. Glow in the Dark Groot from Pop. It's not the uh, cute little Groot in the flower pot. It doesn't dance, but it glows in the dark, and it's a vinyl figure, and it's pretty cool. And, you know, two vinyl figures, a neat little uh, wiggly things you can put on your shoes, air freshener, DLC codes, uh, and radical sunglasses. And I can't use that word as honestly as I can right now. For the uh, 1337 plus shipping you get every month for Loot Crate, pretty good deal. It's a bobblehead. Yeah. For more wacky geek collectible stuff, keep an eye on geek.com and this YouTube channel for Loot Drop episodes. We look at everything from TARDIS fridges, high-end action figures, and giant robots. I'm Will Greenwald, and this is Loot Drop. What? You didn't think I would? Yeah. I know how sweet they look. And yeah, I am wearing Deadpool socks. They came with last month's Loot Crate. They bring it all together. You can be jelly. Take it in.